welcome back to the next episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. Some bandits over there are picking a fight with Glint Hawks. They're fools. Don't fight Glint Hawks if you can avoid it. So, let's head up to get this item, which is hidden up this way, apparently. Let's see how good I climb. Dust Mesa. Now I need to find some place too high to reach, if I'm to believe anything Fernanda said. Oh, we got some climbing points here, so that seems like a good start. Up we go. I wonder what it is he actually found. I bet it's trouble. I'd all but guarantee it's trouble. I eh, can't go up from here, so down and then up again. Nice. What do you know? There really is something here. And it is a... And it's empty. Amazing. Spear girl! Of course. You found it. The perfect location for an ambush. <laughs> <sighs> My now dude. throw down that magnificent spear and we'll let you live. You've obviously heard of me. You know what I'm capable of. Why do you think this will turn out well for you? I like the odds. Get her. Terrible odds. Why do I bother? All right, where do we where do we go from here? Down into that death grass. Yep. Hey, folks. Sup? All right, you just need to pass me by. One by one. And one. You can see them. They can't see you. Indeed. Two. Three. Ah, uh, seems there's more around. What? Rude. Letting fly. Unbelievable. Okay. Get ready for the sun. That's enough. Stay present. That's the last of them. Hope for none ran off. Right to the Meridian docks, I'll bet. Man, he's gonna get it. I'm annoyed that my stealth got broken. I was enjoying that stealth murder. Meridian docks. Find Fernand at the Meridian village. You better believe we will, because there is no reason not to fast travel there immediately. Let's go! Lots of fast traveling now that the jungle is basically done. But I'm pretty pleased with the jungle being complete. We are making solid progress in this game. I'm pretty sure we've passed the 75% completion mark. Three quarters of video game. Admittedly, the last quarter is main quests and all of those uh, data points. And collecting them is going to be so much reading. I'm just going to like name the episode, the episode where I read everything. I'm not going to remember to do that, but in theory, that is the name I'm giving it. Good lord, so much reading. <laughs> it's going to take a while too. Like, it's not going to just be a half hour collect a thon and then a bunch of reading. It's going to be collect, read, collect, read, collect, read. It's going to be huge. I might have to do hour blocks to cover that. Or post game stuff. I don't know. Why am I up here? Huh. That's a little odd. All right, well, I've got three arrows loaded, so I am ready for murder. What do you think happens if you hit a human with a tear blast arrow? I'm suddenly curious. What happens if you hit a human with three tear blast arrows? I'm very curious. You can call me Curious Aloy. Aloy? Aloy. Hey. 
enough we have Osiron somewhere, but Nora, it's just too weak. My dude, are you just gonna run? Let me in! My fire and spit! Let me in! Hey. Oh, Fernand. Our deal is off. Oh, it's you. But how about a new deal? You could just cut off my finger, or, or my hand, or, or my left arm, but that's my final offer. Ah. A limb won't be enough. It wouldn't. Not here, not in front of everyone. No one's gonna lift a finger to stop me. You just led a group of men to their deaths, remember? They were bad men. I did a service, really. Well, you did. You did the service. I'll make sure it never happens again. I'll hold you to it. Understood. You won't hear from any of us ever again. I'd better not. Everyone will know to leave you and your spear alone. Damn right. All right. Boop. Boop. More health potions. Cool. I have the lots of health potions. All right. That was pretty simple. So let's do Sun and Shadow. Which requires us to head out to this island here. It is probably going to be faster to warp into this campfire, curve around, and head there. Especially if I can go overland to get really close to the land bridge. That damn guy. I knew the option wouldn't be I'm just going to stab him immediately, so I took the option of really being a threat. Because I was pretty mad at him, I gotta admit. This game is making you want to play Far Cry 4 again. I can kind of get that. I haven't played Far Cry 4, but I can kind of get that. The map UI is similar enough. Yeah, I, I can feel that. My greatest impression of Far Cry is I saw a friend playing Far Cry 2 once, which I'm pretty sure was the jungle island with like the big snowy mountain in the middle of it. And I kind of imprinted on that as a really good environment location for a video game. I have, this, I have this design in my head for a video game, and that's the exact kind of location I'd like for it. Scrabbling a bit. Of course, making that video game is a huge investment that I just cannot bring myself towards at this point in time, but you know, maybe one day. Three was the one with the tropical island with the snowy mountain in the middle? Huh. I thought I saw that game before three came out. Oh well. Don't. This looks promising. Is that you? Oh. Wow, you hated that. There it goes. It's not safe. And I'm cool. Yeah, I'm a badass. Alright, so... Was I really using proximity bombs? Whoops. Sup? Hey. Who are you? How did you learn to fight like that? What are you even doing here? Maybe you can start by answering a few of my questions. What are you doing on this island? I come here... to be alone. Do you know your father fears you're dead? Huh. I'm surprised he even noticed I was gone. He has the whole village looking for you. He's worried. The... The Snap Maw kept me. You took care of it, so thank you. I should be fine now. Why did you bring flowers here? No real reason. I'm trying to make this a place for us. For all of us. Who's us? Is there someone else here? No. No. I was going to surprise my friends with what I made. There's no one else here. You're obviously. lying to me. Let's go back to the village together. I need to finish planting my garden. Just a little more time. I'll be fine. <sighs> there is a shadow Kaja you know, here and you're about to tell them to leave. More time too, to look around. 
You don't need to do that. I really do. Oh, Alita. Good rolls. Two of them. Yep. She hooked up with the Shadow Carja. And a set of cups. She must not have been alone here. Looks like Alita has a friend. Hey, you want to try lying to the woman who just murdered that Snapmore again and just vaulted that rock? Really good. Elita, if you came here to be alone, why are there two bedrolls? And don't lie to me this time. Um. Uh. By the sun, I don't know where he is. Who? A troll. He lights a fire signal when it's safe to meet him, but he's not here. Who's a troll? A friend I've known since childhood. I'd be planting in the garden and he'd dump worms down my back. I hated that. But the last few months we'd meet here and... Everything was different. We talked for hours. He helped me plant that garden. I couldn't wait to see him again. It's like... I'm dead and only come alive when I'm here with him. Do you know what that's like? I... I can't say that I do. I don't know. Aloy, aren't we the same when we're hunting? Why keep this all secret? A troll is a soldier for the Karja in Shadow. Stationed at the outpost across the lake. It's treason for us to even meet. How could I tell my father? How could I tell anyone? Well then, how did you two arrange to meet here? We came here as kids. After he left, I would come back sometimes. One day, I surprised him here. He smiled from ear to ear. We sat and played like we had as kids, but... War had changed him. Changed us both. We weren't kids anymore. We started meeting in secret. He'd, he'd light a fire to signal it was safe for him to leave his post at the Citadel, but... Last night... He didn't come? I've been waiting all night and all day. I haven't seen anyone but you. Enough of this. You have to go back. Please. If you came all this way, will you look for a troll? He lit the fire on the island not far from here. If I go, he could be killed. We could break the ceasefire. But Honora wouldn't. I... I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm so sorry. I'll find him if I can, as long as you go home to your father. I will. But please come find me there. I can't sleep. I can't breathe knowing a troll could be out there, hurting. Oh boy, you got it bad, girl. Alright, let's roll. Oh, that's that fire I was remarking on before. Okay, oh wow, you're really making me swim for this, huh? Oh boy, okay. Swim, Aloy, swim! Please don't get shot at by Shadow Kaja. No one needs that right now. Full fur raiments, and she cuts through the water like a fish. This woman is incredible. It's a Shadow Kaja fort. The last time I was at a Shadow Kaja fort, I murdered everyone in there. Probably shouldn't do that this time, but I might. I haven't shot a human with a tear blast arrow yet. I'm still really curious what will happen if I do. Ending with someone being dragged away. Your boy's busted. All right. Whoop. Ah, there we go. One million people. Wonderful. Who were you signaling? 
That must be a troll. Yep. Two people there. 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 Oh god, I'm gonna have to kill so many people. There's a troll. Can I do some sort of sneaking mission here? I'm not in the mood to like go in guns blazing here. Quite a few guards there. Hard to believe that they fought Maybe there's another way in. I tell you, traitors are everywhere. I don't know about that. All right, let's sneak around here. Give me a way out. Yeah. All right. Not notice that guy there. Okay. Don't. Oh heck. Okay, we're good. Where's a troll? Right beneath us. Okay. You got two guys over there with their backs to me. This guy doing circles. It's good. And we're just going to stab this guy right in the back when he circles around again. If he spots the body and runs over here, I'm going to grab him and pull him off this ledge. Nope. Sun's coming up. <laughs> Theirs is going down. So many goddamn health potions. Alright, what do we got? Uh... Can I stab this guy in the back without being spotted? The machines have grown more dangerous. Again. Standing around is not what I signed up for. What are you going to do when we take back Meridian? Get a little revenge on the bungs who sent us here. I say they owe us. See how they like starving in the streets. <laughs> they like to say they're the good guys. But I don't see them sending us food. When they if I rope down here, that's the way out. Yeah, they wanted to cease fire. Figured starvation would finish the job for them. Can't wait to tie up a vod and drag him through the streets. Killed his own father. Oh, there we go. Like he's the right oh, like Get some woman Fly the sun. That would be funny if it weren't so wretched. No Man, these guys are just lurking all over the place, huh? When we were leaving the Meridian, that was a battle. Every hour. You didn't know where to Killed a few friends that day. Sound like they're passing. A troll. Are you a troll? Alita sent me. Alita? I was gonna ask her to leave with me. To go into the Outlands. Somewhere out in the sun where no shadow could reach us. But we wouldn't have made it. They would have followed me. I know now. Alita. Uh, tell her they never learned about our island. She's safe. Give her this. Tell her. It's worth it. And he's out. A troll? Poor a troll. And poor Alita. Alright. Now then. No. Let 
Let the party begin. Off you go. Wait, really? You're not stepping up to this. You heard that go down. You're like, you know what? No, actually. Actually, that's the correct decision. Not picking this fight is the correct choice. Unfortunately, you're no longer allowed to make this choice. All right, what do we got? One, two, three, four... Oh dear. Oh my guys, um, that's such bad news for you. You didn't win. Keep looking till you do, or you're dead. Yeah. Where the hell's this guy? Oh, there he is. I know exactly how I want to do this. Come check it out. What? Thank you. God. How the heck did that guy avoid my tripwire? Anyway, everyone in here is dead now. Oh, supply crate. Don't mind if I do. Unbelievable. Alright, what do we got? Uh, yeah, this stuff can wait till later. Let's walk back. Back to Bright Market. This this whole Shadow Card aside, that's for another time. I'm not here for that yet. <laughs> I put up that blast tripwire and I intended to see it used. Can't believe that guy. I mean, it worked out better because I got the crit on that one guy and then the other one ran into the explosive tripwire. But still, the first one just ran in here and avoided it somehow. I have no idea how. My biggest issue right now is I need to score more death from below kills because there is definitely a trophy for achieving multiple death from below kills. Death from above, above is easy. You just gotta jump. You jump off of anything and it's cool. Death from below, though, that requires positioning. Hopefully I can find a bandit camp that suits it. And load me in. And Kadish once again leads the Hunter's Lodge. I could not ask for a more noble house. That's a good opinion, I guess. Actually, I'm, no, not an ability, but I mean... You're not angry that a woman's in charge, and that's a plus. Man, Kaja sucks if that's their pluses. Watch out for the Asuran Who am I kidding? There's plenty of people in the world who are angry if women are in charge. Ah. Uh, mm. Hey, Alita. Don't say it. I know he's gone. Hey, Abby. The Shadow Kaja found him. But you should know, he never betrayed you. He wanted you to have this key. It's the key that Balaki gave me. We said our lives were locked together. Thank you for bringing it back. For all you did for us. 
He said it was worth it. All of it. Are you all right? No. I will be soon. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Elita, no. Look at me. Think this through. If you die, who will speak for a troll? Who will speak for all the Karja and Shadow like him? No one will listen to me. No one can listen to you if you're dead. They need to hear your voice. You're the only one here who can speak for them. Fight for a troll, for those he cared about. Make sure no one forgets you were once one people. Will you do it? I... I'll try. Please, let me get your father. Will you talk to him? I guess. Woof. This is a heavy one. I should have given you a token for your kindness in finding Alita. Is... something wrong? Alita needs you to listen. Right now. Go to the garden, quickly. Uh, I will. A at, at once. You better be a good dad. Don't ask me where to go if you're lost. You'll the guard, like not the town to Oh yeah, I should check out the fruit woman in a second. After this... I'm not here. It's about a trial, father. He and I were together. I didn't want you to... A troll? Yes. I remember him. From when you two were no taller than the flowers in your mother's garden. But... He went west. They never found out about us. He didn't tell them. Even when they... Oh, Alita. All that time spent writing edicts, I thought... I thought my work was keeping you safe from this war. It was all just... Parchment. And I could have lost you. I'm so sorry, Father. I wish I'd known all this time what you were going through. But we'll. I'll be better. Thank you for this second chance. Couldn't imagine living anywhere else. Who's really in charge of Meridian, huh? The Ocelon, that's who. Aww. Good work, you guys. Another bottle of this stinking poison. I should pour this out. What's the deal with these bottles, then? Hey. It won't ever be right that a troll died. But I'll try to live. A woman at the Hunter's Lodge. I never I wish I'd known. All this time, what she was going through. We'll... I'll get better. Aww. Alright, good luck out there. Hey, let's go talk to the fruit woman. That's not an insult, she's a fruit seller. She is... Not here. Buy what you need, leave hey there. History of Sunfall. Oh god, here we go! Oh no. Alright. The History of Sunfall After the vanishing of the Radiant Iriv and his cohort in the west, the Radiant Basadid ordered a mighty fortress built at the Sundom's farthest reach. His luminance chose to build atop ancient ruins, reasoning the ancients must have seized upon the location for its strategic value. Of the ancients, their works of too smooth greystone and strangely carved metal were collapsing or built over, and the catacombs sealed off. Only the stone ring, perhaps used for some unknowable ritual, was left in place to serve the garrison as a training ground. Even though its builders and soldiers lived in fear of the land where the sun goes at night, the finished walls of the fortress were mighty and unshakable. His luminance and his high priest, the irrefutable Pashaman, named it Sunfall under the blazing eye of the sun, and by the light it was good. None doubted the radiant Basadid's prudence, nor denied his lingering hope that his brother might one day be sighted again, but no great threat would come from the West in his lifetime. Nor did it come for the next three generations, though records show the men of Sunfall fought many bandits and scroungers skulking in the rust wash, and a dangerous stampede of behemoths in the long burn. In time, Sunfall slipped from common memory until the sixth year of the eleventh Sun King's reign, when the radiant Mazid himself came to inspect it. 
In the desert heat, his luminance received a vision of an ornate citadel with a dome of metal so polished it would greet the dawn and catch the rays of the sun's last shining at dusk. At once he ordered the dedication of the Sundom's resources to building the structure. After its construction, his luminance took the citadel as his summer palace, bringing with him many members of the Sun Court, nobles and artisans. In time, Sunfall became a city unto itself, and the source of great works such as Passion of the Tall Neck Among the Dunes, Turning Seasons at Bronze Flash, and Lament for Cinnabar Sands. The stone training ring was repurposed for shows of pageantry, where young blazons or the hunter's lodge hawks could display the sun's dominance over the machines. Sunfall's prominence in the culture of the Sundom continued for many years, until the Sun King Mazid's untimely demise in the citadel he so treasured. For his procession back to the Alight, a line of torches was laid all the way across the Daybrink, so that over the days and nights of his bearing he might always go in light. The departed king's brother, the Radiant Havas, was occupied wholly with renewing the soul soldiery of the Sundom, and with the old Sun King's passing so too passed this chapter in Sunfall's history. In the early years of the 13th Sun King Jaran's reign, before the falling of his shadow, a particularly harsh season came upon the Sand Whisper Valley. Upon hearing that the storms could strip the very detailing off armor, he decreed that the strongest amongst his guard should be trained in the desert here, and named Kestrels. Indeed, Helis, who became the most who would become the most infamous of the Kestrels, was one of the first to survive his reforging by Sun and Sand here. In the 15th year of Sun King Jaran's reign, when the sacrifices in the Sun Ring were judged insufficient to calm the derangement of the machines, he presided over the blooding of the ring at Sunfall. A trapped behemoth was driven with spears and spurred over slaves of the Osram Nutaru. When the beast turned upon the Kestrels, the Sun King stood and declared that the Sun, in its great generosity, would accept the sacrifice of faithless and faithful alike. So began a fearful era for Sunfall, of sacrifices unending in its Sun Ring, and the citadel whispered of as a place where no light shone. Many upstanding citizens of the Sundom were taken inside its doors to disappear as surely as if they had journeyed to the Forbidden West. In the last days of Sun King Jaran's reign, Sunfall was in the charge of his Kestrels and High Priest, no longer answering to the Sundom as a whole. It was no surprise then that following the liberation of Meridian, Jaran's loyalists sought refuge at Sunfall. As a fortress, it was impregnable, but cut off from the bounteous land across the daybrink. It was a city of impoverished. A city impoverished. So stood the stalemate in the first year of the 14th Sun King, the Radiant Avard, and so stood Sunfall. Once built to protect the Sundom from the shadow of the West, it now sheltered a worse shadow, the false Kaja who dwelt within. Man, Kaja sucks. I guess this river is called the Daybrink. It's a big one. I bet it stretches all the way up around here. At least she did it to honor the men of her house. Alright, where's Fruit Woman? Don't pass the fiddle with their robes. Sup! Thank you for sending Deckerman back to me. I'm training him to run my stall so he can earn his fruit rather than stealing it. I'm glad it worked out. It's alright, Deckerman. We've all lived in shadow, one way or another. I never thought the sun would shine on me again. After all that I did. I'm learning to run Gulani's stall, and I'm running errands for other sellers. Thank you so much for your help, Savage. What? Don't call her that. What? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's what we call Easterners in Sunfall. I didn't mean to offend. <laughs> what can I say? We still have some work to do. Galani is good. Only the freshest fruit for all. Oh, it's you again. Everyone's buying my fruit. But if you want a left one, I'll look the other way. I have so much money. I will pay you. Thank you for sending Decamin. I'm glad. Okay. I never Dialogue loops. Sick. All right. That is all of this. All of this. The jungle is done. Okay. Next up, we will head north. Pick up just these two little campfires, secure the entrance of the Zeta Cauldron, and get to it. After the Zeta Cauldron is done, I may go after this mercenary camp. I keep forgetting about the mercenary camp, but I really, really want everyone in here dead. We might do this after the Zeta Cauldron before we go back to the main plot. But then main plot. 
City of the Sun, and this one. This entire section of the Shadow Kaja lands, that's for later. We can do some main plot until we stick our nose in here and really get up in its business. Alright, but that's this episode wrapping up. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.